Chapter 15, The Secret of the Planet's Paralysis Good. This will do. Those Sable won't be able to spot us easily here. Tell us, Grovile, in the future, why did the planet's paralysis take place? The cause of the planet's paralysis, that dates back to your time, in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with a collapse of Temporal Tower, which was governed by Dialga. D Dialga? Who is that? He is the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from Temporal Tower, but when Temporal Tower collapsed, time gradually got out of control, and eventually the planet fell into paralysis. What? What happened to Ga Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga also lost control. Now, here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed, and thus Dialga has lost among all his reason, and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He has become an entirely different entity. Yes, he has been transformed into Primal Dialga, a primordial presence. Okay, uh... Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He speaks only self-preservation, so he prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone. Because I tried to change history. Because I tried to stop the planet's paralysis. Because I traveled back in time to your world from this place. Your future. What? Grovile, you're saying that you came back to our world so you could prevent the planet's paralysis? But that's completely the opposite of what we were told. Grovile, you came back to our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? And Grovile, weren't you the one stealing the time gears? You've got to be joking. I was collecting the time gears. Because they were needed for preventing the planet's paralysis. I needed to take them to Temporal Tower and put them in place. That would have re... re that would have rever... Re that would have reversed the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was fully underway in your time. Sometimes I just need to, like, you know, take a step back and actually think before I speak. While it is true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area... That's only temporarily. After the time gears are put into Temporal Tower, time would have been fully restored to normal everywhere. Uh, but then, what about all the things Dustnor said about you? Like how he said you were a wanted outlaw in the future, and how you escaped from the future, then fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming all of that was just a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Dustnor really is an agent sent from the future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. What? Dusnor was an agent sent to get rid of you? I swear, in this game, I have to, like, read someone's lines and then read that same person's lines repeated all the time. That's, I, sometimes, for as much as people love this game, God, is there a lot of unnecessary repetition. That's right. I've said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why, when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Dusnor after me. The Great Dustnor? It can't be. It's hard for you to believe. I, you know what? I believed it from the fuck, second that fucker tried to kill me. But I guess Charlie B over here is just like having a hard ass time. I can't believe it all. Wow. Okay. You're saying all this about the Great Dustnor? I don't understand why Dustnor is ask, acting this way here, but but I respected Dustnor. I can't. I can't believe you. It is hard to accept, but looking back over what we've been through in this future world, what Grovile said is reasonable. It makes perfect sense, and Charlie B knows it. Charlie B knows deep down that what Grovile says is true, but knowing that makes it much harder to accept. But... Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna see Dustnoir. What? I wanna see Dustnoir! I'm gonna find out if what you said is true or not. What's the point of that? You'll only be making it easy for them to get rid of you, you don't stand a chance against them. Then, what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? D didn't you wonder this earlier? And you decided that you would decide for yourself. You insisted that because you don't know what to believe. You wouldn't accept words for their face value, and you think that for yourself. Uh, it's times like this when things are tough, that you have to be strong. Think for yourself, then act as you deem right. Grovile... What are you going to do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the planet's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Celebi. S Celebi? That's right. 
You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. Uh, I don't know what I should believe either. But there is one thing I can say with certainty. In this future world of darkness, the planet is paralyzed. And the paralysis of the planet it happened back in our world. That's why, to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. Back to the past, Samurai Jack. We have to get back. Back to our world. I don't want to, you know, break the flow, but I do have to say something right here, right now. This song is the greatest song in this whole entire game, and the name of that song is called Through the Sea of Time. Look that shit up, listen to it, download it. Just, ugh! Picatine. Yes, I know. What Grovile said. Grovile is right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm alright now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Grovile. Picatine. We have to. We have to get back. Back to our own world. That's the Shardy B I know and love. <laughs> Master Dialga, the stage has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg of your help, Master Dialga. As you wish. By your leave, we shall proceed. Sometimes I don't know whether I should read, like, you know, the irks and the oofs and the cars. And other times I just <laughs> read what I see. What? What was that? Strange sensation. I've had that strange sensation before. Sha 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 sha. Where are we? This is Dusk Forest. Its name comes from the dark fog that perpetually surrounds it. Deep in this forest, we should find Celebi. Hey Grovile, you mentioned the name before, but who is Celebi? Celebi is the legendary time travel Pokemon. She has the ability to cross time. But, well, she's a little odd. But anyway, Celebi's ability enabled me to go to the past. So if we find Celebi, can we return to our world? Yep, you can go back. But Celebi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. That means Celebi has lent her support to reshaping history. Wait, are you saying that Celebi's in trouble too? That's right, Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi. So there's no time to waste. Get ready soon. We have to find Celebi. Alright! We have our last... Wow, I got a lot of useless power bands. Okay. We have our last um, dungeon here that is in the... Okay, I should have done this, actually. In the... Um, in the future. So... Okay. We're good with this. I want to take one Reviver Seed. I'm doing pretty good on Reviver Seeds. I'm just going to take an extra one just in case. If we don't hurry, the Sableye will catch up to us. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Just because normally I would leave right then and there, but I already have a feeling something, something might happen that might screw me over, so we're just going to play it safe. All right. You all ready? Let's go. You seem to be finally prepared. Let's go then. We'll find Selby and return to the past. Let's go. Oh wait, don't go. What is it? If the three of us do return to our world, Grovile, will you steal the time gears like you did before? Well, yes, I will. Otherwise, the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. But, uh, Grovile, I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you yet. I'm only cooperating with you because I want to return to our world. If we do return, I'll investigate if you really were stealing these time gears to prevent the planet's paralysis. Grovile, if I decide that you're wrong for stealing the time gears, I'm going to stop you. Hmm. <laughs> do as you will, but keep this in mind. 
What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to your world. So for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. I feel it. I'm sensing something strange. Hmm? What's the matter, Picatine? I just know it. I felt something like this before. It was... That's it? It was when... I thought so. This is similar to the sensation I had back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry. We have to hurry, Picatine. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, more cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> What's one measy sable I gonna do? Dusk Forest is gonna be the last dungeon that we're gonna face here in the future. And its music is. Not memorable, but okay. Let's leave it at that. In case you're wondering why I'm so keen about the music in this game, it's because if I had to give my favorite soundtrack of all time from, I should say from a certain game, but for any, for a game series, Mystery Dungeon takes the cake. The dungeon themes, the boss themes, the, uh, like, I don't even know what the word for it would be, but essentially... Fuck, you're through a wall! Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Okay, okay, god damn it. Please. Work. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Piece of fucking shit ass. Ah, I'm in a wall, which means you can't hit me, bitch! Ha 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 ha! Fucking asshole. Got a lot of HP back, so that's nice. Didn't have to waste any items, but still. Poor shit right there. But, going back to what I was saying, because I just love getting interrupted and taking long pauses while I talk, is just that every time I enter like a place I'm not familiar, familiar with its like soundtrack, the first thing I try to do is remember that I need to equip my bands is... Just, like, try and think about... You're fucking useless. Is try and think, like, you know, so is a song good? Because I'm not saying every song is a banger. Of course not. There's definitely, it's like, you know, weak spots. Okay. However, for what it does have, I think it is oh, beautiful. If you had to ask me what my most, like, I guess... That's the best word I could use here. Most consistent. Oh, I should have used Thunderbolt. Um, soundtrack for any video game is. I would have to go with. Um, and I've always thought this. Banjo Kazooie. Honestly, they may not be my favorite songs of all time, but I don't think there's a single song in Banjo Kazooie that I don't like. Like all of them, I. I really like. I mean, it's not stuff I would like. You know, listen to like. You know driving somewhere, if I'm ever bored or studying, but it's still like, you know, again, I don't think there's a single sound, song that I just don't like. Like, there's ones, you know, I like more than others, but yeah. And like, I guess another game, if I had to pick one, would have to be Mario Galaxy. Just, ah, oh man, so many great songs. Slash, okay. Honestly, I should keep Scratch, but he hardly uses, um stuff anyway, so there's no point. I just had a feeling where it was like, that'd be nice if I had a grass type, but I don't, so you know what. I just, like, now realize that, um, 
Actually, you should take him on. I just now realize... Oh, shit. What did I realize? I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. That my emulator can, like, skip like this. <laughs> like, I, I kind of forgot that, like, for the last few episodes. And I just now used it, like, on a whim, thinking it was natural. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> God, Sandstorm is a bitch. And the worst part is, now I'm so keen to just, like, start being like, up, 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 zip, 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 but I'm not going to do that. No, we'll not do it. I'm going to be like that one meme of the guy who has, like, the big bane in his forehead, trying not to use my skip. I might as well check. Oh, glad I checked to the left, or else I was going to just go back to where I came from. So, Dusk Forest is a forest. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm going with that. I'm done. Gonna like, we're just gonna do like the stereotypical um video game commenter. Oh shit! Oh fuck off! Where I just talk about what's happening. I'll tell you right now, it works really good in sticky situations, I learn. The best way to learn how to commentate is listen to commentators, honestly. Like, there's a few that, like, I listen to of, like, just people bantering back and forth. And although it's, like, you know, I watch it for entertainment, it's also really helpful. Because then whenever I have, like, you know, um, people to actually talk to, it kind of, like, helps me, um relieve any like dead space or dead talk so but whenever i'm by myself i have to rely completely on myself to make the conversation which yeah it's a hard thing to do just in case like you know it wasn't obvious enough to you know to know that it's honestly a gift and it as much as i want to say it's one that i have i know i am not Oh shit, I am not, I don't even want to say the best commentator, I just want to say like, I don't even think I'm that good. It's just one of those things like, I really like to do, and I feel like I should definitely try, especially if like, I want my main profession to be something like this in a way. Not obviously commentating video games, but, you know, just in front of a camera, or behind a camera, whatever the hell it has to do. Okay, Charlie, you get him. I don't understand. I wish the AI, I have to admit, I do wish the AI was a little bit smarter. It's like, you know, you could use Fire Fang, and he's like, What's that? Hand and power? Okay. Oh. I didn't think he had that much health left. Maybe he didn't, but still wasn't enough to kill. Okay, let's try going to the left. Shit. What do we got? Light screen. They love just giving me um, light screen and whatever the hell the other one is. Reflect. That's it. I was thinking protect, and I was like, that sounds right, but I know it's not. Reflect. It rhymes. And that was fast. Hey, JK, we're just at the midway point. Is this, is this where Selby's supposed to be? That's right, it was around here that I met her the last time. But if Primal Dialga knows of this place, Selby will have fled from here. This place isn't known to our pursuers, however, and Selby could still be here. Hello, Selby? It's me, Grovile. Reveal yourself if you're here. She's not coming out. Did she get frightened off by Primal Dialga? What if... What if she's been captured by Primal Dialga? Captured? Oh, where'd the voice come from? But now, I don't hear anything. That voice. Was I just hearing things? 
Teehee, you didn't imagine it. Me? Captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. JK, it's not the midway point. It's been too long, my dear Grovile. Yes, it's been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing is Celebi! Now that is downright rude. How inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Tell that to a porn artist. Uh, I'm sorry. I heard you have the ability to cross time, so I expected you'd be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth. Never judge someone by appearance. But I forgive you. After all, you must find me cuter and more special than you imagine. Um, yes. <laughs> Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Grovile, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed in your mission in the past, yes? Uh, yeah, it's true. I hope you manage this time. I've qu had, I've quite had enough of this. Living in the dark and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, no time to chat. The Sable Eye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have brought trouble to you. Tee it's quite fine. There's no need to worry. Let those Sable Eye come. They're of no concern to me. Besides, you would be so kind as to prevent the per planet's paralysis. We'll finally be spared the agony of the world of darkness. My dear Grovile, I will devote my whole life to achieve that end. Alright. Where's the passage of time? It's ready. It is nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes! Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's this? Your friend! What? What? No. This can't be. Is something the matter, Celebi? No, it's nothing. Well then, shall we? Off to the passage of time! Hey, Grovile. So what's the passage of time? The passage of time is a portal that Selby uses to travel through time. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself. But for big trips, that span many generations, I must use the passage of time! Oh, so if we are going through that passage of time... Yep, you'll be able to return to your time. Oh, I see it! That eh, JK was the midway point. I got you with three JKs! Ha ha ha! There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. What, what the hell do you need the deposit box for? You didn't take any of my shit I gave you. Shelby! Hi hi! So listen, this is just a little secret. Did you know that Grovile is really impatient and hasty? I know that he wants to hurry, but I do wish he would slow down a little. It would sure make me happier if he did. I want to spend as much time as I can with him. Uh, oh! That's not how I meant it. Not at all. I don't have any special feelings for him or anything. Aw, I like to imagine those two as like a little cute couple. They are. And I know some people like to imagine it differently, especially those who... Our deviant art artist in Rule 34. However, I like to think they're a little cute couple. Anyway, uh, next up is time. Another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers a tie. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, Charlie B is on me like white on rice. Alright, I'm having too much fun. I'm at the end of the episode. Alright, see y'all next time. Alright, chill out. Bye. See you later. Suck my dick. Mm -hmm.